25 yard line as this offense gets set to take over. On first down, Robinson. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Good, strong, explosive run that started inside, which means you've got to control those defensive linemen, the defensive tackles, the nose guards. Those guys have to be controlled. How about the offensive line, the job they just did? Yeah, key that A-gap usually on those runs, right? That's where it all starts because everyone wants to kind of control that area. It disrupts things from the defensive side and the offensive side. As we just saw, it opens up possibilities. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From the gun, Madden eluding the pressure right. And his throw here is incomplete. Defensively here, you're facing a top-five team in terms of points scored in the NFL, so when they're that high-powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20 because, to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself a big, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. Yeah, I think so because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. To throw on third down, Madden flushed out right. Finding room to the 20. Oh, nice. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. How about that? Their quarterback. 33 yards and the Jaguars are on the board first on the road here in LA so this offense will head back out there already an excellent field position thanks to the interception on first and 10 Madden flush to his right this is caught touchdown Jaguars LaVisca Chanel with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Jaguars lead this now. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And they, as mentioned, unbeaten to this point in the year. But you think this game, their toughest test yet. I absolutely do because, to me, this is a good measuring stick game because they've been able to take advantage of the schedule. But here, this is another team leading its division with an eye on making a Super Bowl run. So this game is crucial. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. They'll roll him out right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And this is caught inside the five. And oh, so close as he takes it all the way to the two-yard line. It's a big play for the Jaguars. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. So this offense will head back out there. Already an excellent field position thanks to the interception. Throwing on first down. Madden. The left side completion to Jones. And he just falls short down at the one-yard line. It's a big play for the Jaguars. A pretty wild first quarter. 21-7, our score. Operating from the gun. Madden escaping the pressure. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. A great effort there. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled down. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Touchdown, Jaguars. Marvin 
Marvin Jones with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Jaguars continue. All right, the offense back out there now. Let's see what they can put together. They'll run on first down. Robinson. There's Robinson showing the flash. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. Well, able to force him out of the pocket right, but still able to complete it. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Another great throw there, and, and we talked about him when he broke the single-season record, but that last completion, CD, that puts him over 6,000 yards passing on the season. Just unheard of. Brandon, there was a time not long ago when 3,000 yards was the gold standard for quarterbacks. He's doubled that. If more people come along like him and hit that type of a number, if you throw for 3,000 yards, you're in danger of losing your job. Well, this offense will definitely utilize him as a weapon out of the backfield because he was close to 100 yards receiving a week ago. So they will try to get him to football in space as they did right there. On first down, Madden. That's to the veteran tight end, Carter Landry. Touchdown! Carter Landry, his 17th touchdown now on the season. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well. So. They got his man complete! Touchdown, Jaguars! Carter Landry, his second TD of the game at 18. So the offense set to take the field here. They will have the football with less than a minute to go in the first half. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. A first down and more, ETN. And brought down across the 50 to the 49-yard line. So we've reached halftime in a one. Okay, well, so much for the halftime report here. Can't, guy can't even finish his Snickers. We're going to get right to the third quarter. Let me spit this out. The Rams set to receive the second half kickoff, and they trail here as we resume play. And this will not be returned, so the second half begins with a touchback. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. The CD, you know, this offense at 11-0 now on the year. A few weeks ago, I remember asking you what kind of percentage chance that you thought they had at staying unbeaten the entire season. I think you said 25%. I'd imagine that number probably grown since then. I would agree with you, and I'm going to actually bump it up to closer to 50%, only because they still have some tough games to come. And keeping that focus throughout the entire season, that's been a really difficult thing to pull off. But so far, they've done it, and they've done it well. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. 41 yards rushing for him now to this point. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. On the slant, he'll get it to Jones. Touchdown! Marvin Jones, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Jaguars are pouring it on.
Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. 